Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a coffee taste test comparison between the 8 o'clock and the Starbucks Pike Place. Both of these are a medium roast. But the Starbucks one does say chocolate and toasted nut. So here I've cut open each K-cup. They both have two tablespoons of coffee grounds in them. The Starbucks looks quite a bit darker. So the coffee is kept in a paper filter in the K-cup. And the bottom of the 8 o'clock is just a standard uh, coffee filter with nothing special there. Now Starbucks does add something. So they've got your standard coffee filter. But in the bottom of their K-cups, they've got this plastic ring. And that ring helps hold the um, filter off of the bottom of the K-cup to kind of give more of a natural... Um, brew process inside the K-cup. So they do add that extra ring, Starbucks does. So on the 8 o'clock package, it does say it's a medium roast, sweet and fruity, and a well-balanced 100% Arabica beans. So if we look at the Starbucks Pike Place, now Starbucks does tell you what to brew. They say to use the 8-ounce setting, and that's what I use. But you can definitely brew it on any ounce you'd like. But at least Starbucks does give you, they do give you some instructions. So again, this is a medium brew, but it does seem like it's a little bit to the light side. But the, the coffee sure looks dark. It says it's part of the Conservation International. I will be brewing a cup of black coffee, and then I will be brewing another one to put cream and sugar in it. So I'll be brewing these with the Keurig K Supreme. So let's start off with the Pike Place. Oops, I've already got a cake up in there. Okay, so I've got my Pike Place in there. Eight o'clock. Let's do an eight ounce brew. Eight ounce brew brew. Okay, so let's do a taste test of the 8 o'clock. It's a really hot cup of coffee. Smells good. Smells a little earthy, but I don't think it tastes that way. Okay, that tastes like a very good cup of coffee. Nothing, nothing outstanding, or nothing, um, no rich flavors that are coming to get me yet. The Pike Place. Place got that signature Starbucks um, kind of smell to it and taste to it. Um, somebody told me one time that Starbucks coffee beans are kind of like a burnt taste and I do get that sense of kind of like burnt, a little earthy taste to it. Okay, so I added some cream and sugar now, brewed another one. The Starbucks, now you can really tell, this is the kind of like their signature taste. Yeah, to me, even though this is a medium roast, it kind of tastes like a dark roast a little bit. But again, it's got kind of that burnt coffee taste, you know, bean taste to it. Not saying it tastes bad. Here's the 8 o'clock with cream and sugar. It takes away some of that bitterness so I can kind of taste it. Now, this tastes like a pretty standard cup of coffee. There's not any flavor, for say. There's not any um, extra flavors that I taste in there. It does taste like a, it tastes like a really nice cup of coffee, kind of like standard coffee. Starbucks, you know, I know they got this, it says chocolatey and toasted nut. Um, you can definitely taste there's some added flavor to the Pike Place roast. The 8 o'clock uh, coffee is very good. It's definitely a standard medium roast. I don't think it's a light, I don't think it's a dark. Um, again, with the Starbucks, you kind of are left with, is it a dark? You know, is it kind of an earthy taste? Is it a medium? It's kind of hard to tell but it's the kind of standard Starbucks coffee even though I've I've tasted several of their different K-cups um, they all have that kind of underlying hint 
of a Starbucks um, coffee bean to it. So again, I'm not a coffee expert by no means. Um, coffee is still really, really bitter to me, and that's why I got to put the cream. When I put the cream and the sugar in it, I take I put in just enough to take away the bitterness, so that I can kind of taste the coffee. Check out my other videos where I do a taste test with all three Green Mountain. I do the Donut Shop. I do the Caribou Coffee. I do the Maxwell House, all four. And I do uh, Amazon's. Uh, this is their K-Cup. And another variety pack. And it's the Dark to Medium and the Medium to Light Rose variety pack. Thanks everybody for your support. I recently uh, surpassed 5,000 subscribers. Thanks everybody. Um, I, it just overwhelmed by the amount of support I'm getting on my channel. Um, if you got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments down below. I'll be, I'll be happy to ask. Or if you got a different review or a taste test you'd like me to do, these taste tests are from comments from viewers. I didn't know much about this 8 o'clock, but I'm glad I tried it. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.